Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their Chris, mission. You found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently beaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. this way. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. <clears throat> A dining room. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill, 
see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Take care of it! What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Where did they go? What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. What about you? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Chris Redfield, Alpha Team. We're here to rescue you. Richard, what the hell happened to you? <laughs> Chris, this place. Get your team out of here. Demons everywhere. Don't talk. He seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake, but the size of the bite mark is huge. It's not just any ordinary snake. <laughs> Take my word for it. He needs serum. I left it in another room. I'll go get it. Please hurry. Hold on. I'll be back.
Hope this is what you wanted. Thank you. I'm gonna give you a shot now, Richard. Hang in there. Here. Take it. It's a radio. Take care of yourself, Rebecca. <gasps> Richard! He's okay. He's just unconscious. Rebecca, it's not safe here. Let's get Richard to a safer place. Right. Richard's doing well, Chris. He should recover soon. Good. Richard needs you now. As soon as Richard gets better, we'll come after you. Somebody sure knows how to get a deal. Most of the medical supplies here are from Umbrella. Umbrella? Don't you know? They're only the biggest taxpayers around here. They make most of these medicines right here. Homegrown in Raccoon City. But there's not much left, so take care of yourself. Rebecca, you okay with a gun? Yes. All right. I'm going to continue my investigation. Be careful. Okay? Jill, don't scare me. Speak for yourself, Barry. What are you doing here? Yeah. Well, uh, I think you should take a look at this. I warn you, though, it's not pretty. It's forest. Oh, what could have done this to him? God only knows, but I'm gonna find out what did this to him. Jill, could you investigate other areas? Yeah, sure. Jill, this is no longer useful, the forest. We don't know what's going to happen. Take it with you. Barry. I still can't believe it.
It's me, Chris. Rebecca. That sounded like Moonlight Sonata. Can you play? What was that? My interpretation is off a little. Let me practice for a while. Sure. But don't get too carried away. Oh, I won't. Practice makes perfect. What's this? Be careful, Chris.
me a sign. Anything. Jill to Brad, can you hear me? Shit, it's broken. Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm all right. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry, I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky I'll get to waste some monsters along the way.
answer me, somehow give me a sign. Krista Brad, can you hear me? Brad. Damn. Is this thing? Barry! Jill! was finished. Yeah. That was close. Thanks again. Don't mention it. But what was that? What the hell's going on in this place? Barry. Something about that mansion still bothers me. But I think I'll stay here a little longer. We should split up again and investigate. All right. Wesker! Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. I apologize. It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. I understand. Anyway, it's good that you're safe. Did you notice? Barry, he sounded a little flaky. Now that you mention it, yeah. I'll keep a close eye. Maybe it's quite natural under these circumstances. It's not really our standard operation. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. I agree. There are still rooms in that mansion we can't get into because they're locked up. I've been looking for ways to... Okay, if there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. I'm counting on you. Stairs? Rebecca. Chris! You okay? I didn't mean to get you worried. We can't stay here any longer. We have to get to the others and find a way out of here. You with me? Yes. Then I'll go ahead. Until then, Rebecca, you're on your own. Stay cool and use your better judgment. Got it? I can handle myself. Good luck.
Enrico, don't come any closer, Chris. What happened? <sighs> Double crosser. Enrico, wait. Enrico! Double crosser? Thank God you're safe. You too, Jill. A noise I heard brought me down here, but I didn't expect to find a place like this. Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? There's only one way to find out. That sound. It could be a person. Jill, go check it out. We had enough surprises for one day. I'll stay here and secure our escape route in case something happens. Okay. Jill, you're alive. I was worried, because I thought you were... Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. to talk. Jill, hand me my gun! Thanks, Jill.
I don't believe that thing's really dead. Leave this place up to me, and go on ahead. Okay. Jill! Barry! You could have at least waited up for me, you know? Let's go. Chris! Rebecca! I saw you in the inner garden. I finally caught up. Well, I'm glad you're okay. No more following. Just stay with me, kid. That's my plan, sir. Chris? What is it? I found a file in the lab. Apparently, there's still a lot of tyrant virus here. We should blow this whole place up. Right. The show must go on. I'll leave that up to you, Rebecca. I'm on it. I'll start the self-destruct system I found a little while ago. It's not like we're out of this yet. I'll see you on the outside. Outside. Wesker! Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Wesker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <sighs> you're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl, but I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. Oh! <sighs> Umbrella? Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell.
That's magnificent. For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. <gasps> Barry! Forgive... me? No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit! <laughs> Jill and Barry, together. In hell. You want a piece of me? What? Premature. Viral cultured freak. First, let's just get out of here. You made it! <laughs> 